Business world can be brutal, and it's not exactly the place for a preteen. But one young Metro Atlanta is succeeding in business, and she's not really trying. Good day, Atlanta's Tacoma Perry is here now with more on her amazing story. Tacoma, good it morning. It is amazing, and she's cute as a button. If you can make money <laughs> off of being cute, this girl be a billionaire, I tell you. She's young, but she's savvy, and she's done at 11 what many adults are struggling to do. She's turned her passion into profit. 11-year-old Maya Penn is full of ideas. The seventh grader spends much of her time working them out in her Canton studio. It kind of depends on what my schedule is, but I like to be in here because I like to create new items and it's really fun for me. But unlike most children whose greatest entrepreneurial endeavor involves a lemonade stand, her creations make money. The idea came to her when she was just eight years old. I always love to like find some fabrics like around the house and say well this might be able to make like a good headband or a good hat or something and then I thought one day that I could probably make a shop. Maya designs and hand makes oh, eco-friendly clothing and accessories and she's now the CEO you know, and owner of I her own online company it. called Maya's Ideas. These are a lot of different fabrics that I'll use for my tank tops or my bags, purses, hats. And her business is gaining her a bit of attention. Not only are her items worn by customers from Italy to Canada, she was recently featured on Forbes.com. But for Maya, fashion design isn't enough. She blogs regularly about her experiences, including her love of animation, something she calls a hobby for now. <sighs> And the mini businesswoman isn't consumed by the money. At least 10% of her profits are donated to Atlanta area charities. Learning at a young age that business should always be personal. I like making people happy through my items, but some people might not have the money to purchase my items. So I try to help other people and make them happy through donating. Hmm. Maya says when she grows up, she wants to do exactly what she's doing now. That and making films. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Adding that to the repertoire. <laughs> to find out more about Maya, log on to our website at myfoxatlanta.com. And I have some of her hats here and a scarf. So that one's for you, Gravier. Oh, thank you. These are my oh, guns. Oh, no, no. These are gorgeous. Okay, you can oh, have that one. Can that's have... a scarf. Oh, okay. <laughs> that thank you. Match. Something for me. That's Isn't that well. adorable? <laughs> now, look, she, I love these she does all this um, and goes to school, too. How does she, that work? Actually, she's homeschooled. Mm, you know, we had that story last right, week right, about right, homeschooling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. is another homeschooler. She's been homeschooled from the start. And she is only 11, but she's considered in the seventh grade. Seventh grade, oh. sharp as a tack. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. And learning JavaScript because she wants to do her own websites yeah. too. That Good girl's going her. places. Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> Thanks, Tacoma. <laughs>